Drop a like on the video in the next five seconds if you want to be able to shoot consistent whether you have a low or high three-pointer. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double HD, and I am back at it with yet another banger. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best jump shot in NBA 2K22. Now, this jump shot is going to be working for you whether it's current gen, next gen, because they have the same gameplay, same sliders and everything. It can work for you if you have a low three-pointer, a high three-pointer. Now, I use this jump shot on a build with a 64 three-pointer right now. Now, when I hit 99, I'll have a 68 three-pointer. But I use with it with a 64 three-pointer. You see me quick stopping. You see me greening consistent from three. And I also have a 99 win percent right now. Like, look at my record. I'm going off with this. So, yes, it is consistent. It is the best jump shot in the game. And with this jump shot, I'm also going to be showing you guys the best shooting settings, the best uh, green light animations. I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks to shoot with no meter. I'm going to be giving you guys the best shooting baddies. There's a lot of stuff I need to talk with them bad is of course and i'm going to be giving you guys even an extra jump shot that you can use in this video and some other jump shot creator tips if you want to make your own jump shot for nba 2k22 so make sure to drop a like on this video if this video helps you at all subscribe to the channel if you guys are new 1 million subscribers on the way i'm telling you guys this jump shot is super chicken bro you guys see by the gameplay like look at me I'm literally icing with a 64 three-pointer hunting for threes quick stopping greening consistent like it's literally just the best, bro. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop straight into this video, man. Let's get it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the, obviously the settings. Is we have to go over a couple of things before we go into the jump shot. You're going to want to adjust these, these uh, shooting jump shot settings 100%. Um, because they're gonna help you just shoot way better, right? So the first thing we're gonna go to do is the settings now By the way, if you want to go for shooting badges in micer go on pro difficulty and literally just jab step the AI every single time um, and Yeah, it's just gonna work every time for you and just do five minute difficulty and then on your off days do the jump shot free throw golf and yeah, you'll just get hella um, you do the free throw golf drill and you'll just get hella shooting that is doing that But anyways besides that make sure your shot feedback is on all shots So you can see even on defense if you could test somebody how much percent it is or even when you're shooting the ball What kind of contest is whether it's open you're shooting a 10% or whatever You know what I'm saying and then if you are using a shot meter you could change the color of the shot meter here There's plenty of options red pink orange yellow white blue bunch of options you could do and that's about it for those settings right there now we're gonna go to controller settings okay so you're gonna want to have vibration on even though when you shoot vibration does not um work but in the my core it does so if you're practicing the my core that get up shot meter okay now we're gonna talk about the shot meter a little more later in the video but listen bro if you're still using the shot meter please i'm begging you take it off i'm going to show you how to practice with the shot meter off and just shoot better with the shot meter off if you're a little skeptical about it but it's going to give you a huge boost if you have your shot meter off to your jump shot and you're just going to green way more shots uh, once again i'm going to talk about later in the video how you can shoot better with your shot meter off if you're struggling with it make sure your pro stick functions on dribbles only because sometimes when you dribble and you hold the right stick up it's going to make you pump fake so that's another thing uh, you don't want to shoot a bad shot just in case for the controller settings that should be it to be honest That's really it for the controller settings right there now If we back out of those settings and we go over to my player then we go to jump shot splash This is actually how you change your um, Green like little your little like flame below you your icon once you reach level 10 you can change that and this is how you change your green um, effects and stuff. So even if you have your shot meter off, it's still gonna show like a little green effect above your player if you put one on. So you can either have the flame, you can have the ball, you can have the fireworks, and each one has their own sound effects. So there's like 35 sound effects here that you can change it to for each one. So if you wanna um, you know, customize that, you can go ahead and do that. And then you can also pick your icon below your player. Is the green light animation the best green light animation right now? That's like, you know, some people think, by the way, some people think jump shot emotes affect your greens or don't. To be honest, I don't know if they affect them, but sometimes you just shoot better with some of them. And the best one right now is definitely mopping. Mopping for, especially for spot ups and low three pointers. I don't know why, but this one just goes crazy. Like, everybody that has this jump shot emote, just don't be missing another good one is peekaboo 
um if you have the dice roll that's a good one too um for sure the dice roll is good as well now i'm not sure where the boost section is on next gen but by the way this jump shot video is going to work for both next gen and current gen once again because it's the same gameplay the jump shots are the same so you just, the, everything's just the same you know there's a boost stand on the cruise ship uh, on the uh, deuces in um three's court deck and all you have to do is just go right here buy jump shot boost if you're not using jump shot boost you're just tripping okay look at i already have max i, I always have look at i have a couple missing i always buy 99 games of jump shot boost because you never know what kind of streak i'm i never know what kind of streak i'm going on so make sure you always have jump shot boost there's no reason not to and if you don't know what boosts are basically increases your chances of making shots whether it's whites greens or whatever so definitely make sure you're buying jump shot boost even if you're in the stage there's a boost stand right here in the very back where you could buy boosts as well so it doesn't really matter where you are there's always somewhere to buy boosts so make sure you're using them now another tip i'm gonna give you guys is when, when i was talking about taking off your shot meter i'm gonna teach you guys right now how to just practice your jump shot and practice without a meter as well you can go into my court and do some drills here do not do shoot around if you're gonna pack, practice your jump shot for some reason it gives you like extra whites and full bars in the shoot around so it's not really the same latency if you're gonna practice your jump shot either do the personal workout where you invite a my player to your court and 1v1 them full court or my favorite one is the ball machine do the ball machine you don't even have to go for your rebounds and you just keep spamming a and you can practice your jump shot right so it's gonna load us into the ball machine of 2k you know what i'm saying you can load it up there we go okay so like i said all you have to do is just click the pass button you're gonna catch the ball and you can just keep shooting from literally anywhere out here and just practice your jump shot right i have no meter on right now what i would do if you really want to practice in here you could shoot five spots from each three point line and try to green as many shots as possible or maybe if you're trying to shoot from a certain spot don't stop shooting until you get like three five greens in a row or maybe six out of ten greens per spot or something like that anyways it's a good place to practice your shot now once again when it comes to timing your shots this is huge whether you're using especially if you're using using no shot meter is there something called a Q right now what a Q is is if you're not using muscle memory on your jump shot it's something that you look at at your my player to tell when to release the ball so I'm gonna put this next jump shot in slow motion right and where, where the you're gonna want to there's three different spots you can look at that some people look at either some people look at their feet and let's say you're green a jump shot wherever your feet were when you released the ball when you greened it is when you're gonna you want to notice that cue so the next time you shoot you can just release it and look at your feet or you can look at when the ball reaches the highest point in the jump shot or you can look at just your my players um hands right so those would be the three things i would look at so either your feet your hands or the ball so every time you could shoot you could just use the same you could just use the same technique look at the same thing and just look for the same cue to release the ball so yeah, definitely take advantage of cues a lot of people just go off muscle memory i go off muscle memory too but if you're not good with muscle memory and you're having trouble with your jump shot especially if you're not used to no meter definitely use some cues now we're gonna look at the best shooting badges especially for low three-point builds i've tested out a lot of shooting badges since the game came out so i feel like i have a lot of knowledge on shooting badges and i guarantee you you're about to learn something right now unless you're just you just know everything about them already too but anyways once again just to confirm i have a 64 three-pointer a 71 mid-range right now and obviously when i hit 99 i'll have a 75 mid-range is actually really good and a 68 mid-range all right 68 three-pointer but anyways we're gonna look at my badges i don't have max shooting badges yet but i do have nine out of 11. um the, the shooting badge setup that i'm using right now is completely different than what i've used before though and it's because this setup i have right now just made me a better shooter so all the clips i'm showing in this video i'm actually shooting better <laughs> than in those clips like by far it's not even close these are this is my shooting badge setup i got gold hot zone hunter gold sniper silver stop and pop bronze green machine gold hot zone hunter is very good especially if you have your hot zones now if you want to check your hot zones go to um play next game go to the roster click the right stick yeah and this is where you're going to check your hot zones see you later i have some cold zones and you want to know i'm going to tell you why i have those cold zones on the right side but anyways i used to have hot zones around the whole three-point line but listen i'm telling you i had to learn about the bad shooting badges in the hard way okay but anyways this is my setup gold hot zone gold sniper silver stop and pop 
bronze green machine so like i said i had those cold zones right i know the worst shoot the bad is that just don't do anything and don't help you out at all because i use them and i got worse at shooting because i was adjusting my shooting badges all over the place just to test them i'm gonna tell you right now limitless spot up and chef especially chef it doesn't pop up and it doesn't do much i would not i don't care what your build is don't even use chef what chef is supposed to do is give it's like the new limitless range without catch and shoots and then limitless spot up is like catch and shoot limitless range limitless spot up is definitely good for spot ups and stuff but chef don't use chef you don't don't you don't even need it i'm not gonna lie another badge that's not that good on a high level is actually green machine this year green machine on silver or gold isn't even that good so i'm just leaving it at bronze now the best shooting badge in the game and it's not even close i don't care what your build is max this shooting badge is sniper bro when i tell you i was shooting decent before this badge and then when i turn this shit on i'm shooting ridiculous this is the best badge in the game it just exaggerates the impact of good and poor shot timing now this badge pops up whether you green or white I i'm telling you right now you need to just test the badge if you don't believe me just put it on bro and i guarantee you're gonna start shooting better stop and pop is another good one um basically if you're dribbling a lot and you're like doing quick stops and stuff that'll help but like i said once i get my other shooting badges to be honest i'm probably just gonna max stop and pop and put on dead eye because there's a lot of sh or actually you know what i'll probably put on blinders blinders is another good shooting badge um but the shooting badges that i don't think useful chef limitless spot up uh set shooter uh rhythm shooter volume shooter fade eight like some of these are just not the best the best ones for sure hot zone hunter sniper stop and pop green machine um if i had to add any catch and shoot blinders dead eye limitless spot up for spot ups um lucky number seven might be a little glitchy i haven't tested that out clutch shooter is probably still good too if you're fading difficult shots is obviously good but yeah you know what i'm saying these are definitely the best shooting bats especially for a low three-pointer make sure you're using hot zone and sniper maxed out 100 all right it is finally time to show you guys the jump oh yeah it is finally time to show you guys the jump shot now once again i'm actually going to show multiple jump shots so not just the jump shot i use but some other good jump shots especially for low three-pointers and even good for play shots as well um so yeah the jump shot that i am using right now is this one right here this is 100 percent speed i'm using base exum release lamarcus aldridge release two rudy gay 100 percent speed yes 100 percent speed 55 lamarcus 45 rudy gay telling you right now my jump shot's fast it's good i'm green consistent and my win my record shows that the gameplay shows that as well especially if you've been watching my streams lately anyways um you can also if you don't like you know the the, the 100 speed you can do the same jump shot with 75 percent speed i have that one as well um so yeah if, you, if you're not rocking rock with 100 percent speed just use this but another good jump shot that's actually good is this jump shot whether it's on 75 or 100 percent speed base jump shot 98 release one rudy gay release two kobe bryant so yeah if you're, these are the two jump shots i would recommend for low three pointers this one's good for play shots too but yeah base 98 and base xm are definitely the best jump shots in the game and even if these if you don't like either of these jump shots another thing that you need to know about jump shots another thing that you need to know about jump shots is that whatever your base is is actually the only thing that matters the only thing that release one and release two do is just change how your jump shot looks so these aren't going to affect your white percent your make percent your green percent upper release one and two so that's just going to affect how your jump shot looks so like i was talking about earlier with shot timing and the cue if you want to make your cue easier or you think it's easier to look at then yeah that's really just what release one and release two are for the base is what affects your green light percentage your white percentage all that stuff so the best bases um for in the game is definitely 98 exum stephen curry and 38 38 is definitely making a comeback by the way so yeah those are the best bases in the game so if you want to make your own jump shot make sure you're using one of those bases 100 percent and just to prove to you guys that i am using this jump shot because i already know something i'll be like oh that might not be the jump shot this is the jump shot it's literally on right now and these are my spin jumper dribble pull up animations right here just in case you guys want those and once again i'll plug y'all with the dunk packages too 
You know what I'm saying? If you guys want my dunk packages, there you go. Anyways, guys, hopefully this video helped you guys out a lot. And make sure, if you guys didn't already, rewind. Make sure you watch everything and listen to everything I talk about with jump shots. Because even if these two jump shots don't work for you, I talk about how to create your own custom jump shot to the best of your ability and customizing the perfect jump shot for you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. 1 million subscribers on the way. I'm trying to have some more you know content videos out for you guys i've been dropping a lot of tutorials more entertainment videos just like the last one when i was trolling on a level 40 account if you didn't check that out make sure to go check it out but anyways guys it's been your boy henry aka double hdf and i'm out y'all i never had no friends i was all alone she ain't never called my phone she left me on my own they saying all girls are the same brother than my dog she said can you stay with me now i got a girl diamond dripping off my neck is when i'm about to flex up on my necks